Right, so this is the day, actually it was yesterday, um, when we put the polytunnel cover back on. But I was feeling really ill, um, so I didn't film it, unfortunately. Anyway, we've got, I've got most of the stuff that I want in here now. Just plenty of room for seedlings on my two staging units. Um, the end one has got my strawberries on at the moment and I've got two hanging uh, strawberry baskets as well. Um, I've attempted or I've started, sorry I'm <coughs> struggling to talk here, um, I started on my raised beds so I've moved um, one in and I've actually raised them up off the floor on to um, fence posts. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to take the bottom out of out of these these ones so that it makes them deeper, and then the earth will just land on the stones, which will give it drainage underneath. Um, this box here with the garlic in, and it's also got. Um, I think I've put some turnips and sweets in here, but I can't remember what they are, so I'll just have to wait until they come up. Um, but this is like a double box already. Um, so I might, once this is all sorted and later on in the season, take the bottom, as you can see, I take the bottom out of this as well. Uh, then the earth will drop down onto the stones and I can sort of build it up. I'll have to put another piece of wood in there to stop it. But these stones are actually on on some um, of the, that square plastic stuff that you use as a base. So it's got weed suppressant underneath it and then I filled it up with stones so um, it means that the water will drain straight through the raised beds once I take the bottoms out. I hope you understood all that. <laughs> um, right, so how have I secured the polytunnel so we don't lose it again? And as you can see, um, the tree stakes are... Um, not these. Uh, are joined with plastic ties so they go around the polytunnel um, frame and then through the tree stakes and they're quite well into the ground so that's good. So there's four on each side. Um, and then outside I've only secured two sides so far. I'll have to take you around And the polytunnel to show you. So this side is not, not done yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But this back side is, if I just move my potatoes. So inside, I don't know whether you can see, there is a, a fence post on the floor inside. And then what I've done is I've staple gunned the polytunnel cover to that inside. And then I've nailed on another piece of wood to the tree, uh, to the fence post. So that will hold it in. And then, my potato buckets are also holding it down. So this is the back of the polytunnel. And then I've just done this side 
so I've dug a trench and I've buried this side of the polytunnel in. It's also stapled onto a piece of wood that's inside, which is going to sort of form maybe part of the raised bed. Not sure yet. So yeah, so I can now get down this side of the polytunnel if I need to. So I'll leave that, that bit empty. There's a rosemary there that I didn't dig out, but I might just leave that. And uh, down the other end, um, Fabina Benera. <laughs> yeah, Fabina. <laughs> Sorry, my tongue's not working today. <coughs> so that should grow up. Chop that down, but that should grow up. Okay. Let's come back. you can see I've still got loads of wood to chop down and fence panels to get rid of the new fence looks good there and this is just loads of twigs and chippings that bit I've still got to get sorted bird box is up. I think I've had a, a couple of blue tits having a look at it but they've not done anything yet. Might be too late now, I'm not sure. So all this area is still to sort out but I've got my feeders up. As you can see, it's a bit sunny up there, sorry. This area's got to be, my poor rockery has all got to be redone. And this pond is coming out. I've um, promised it to a friend who wants to start um, So this pond will come out and I was thinking about how I was going to fill the hole. Um, but I can probably chop up some of this wood that I've got, put that in the bottom before I put the earth or some earth back in. These two conifers type trees are coming out and I'm putting them in my front garden. And this is my pond. Oh my god. It's just looking very messy at the moment. This area here, this area is going to be a seating area. I've got a bench that I'm going to put here, and I'll be able to sit and watch my pond and the bird feeders. such a mess at the moment but it will be beautiful eventually I can't wait to show you when it's when I get there okay 